She traded in golf clubs for ballet point shoes, and now a local teen is dancing her way onto one of the world's most elite and exclusive colleges. West Jew Scott Heidler spent some time with Brevard County's first female dance student to head to New York City's Juilliard. Even to the untrained eye, Jasmine Sinot Klinotis's talent is crystal clear when she takes to the floor. But it was not the first sport that captured the focus of this natural athlete. Tell me, how did you first get into dance? You were golfing, but then all of a sudden you switched over to dance. How did that happen? Yeah, so uh, my sister has always been an inspiration to me on the daily, and dance is just one example of that. So when we were little, she always wanted to take dance classes. So when a studio owner finally reached out, I assisted her with all those classes, and we did the end of the year recital with her. Her sister, Brittany, has cerebral palsy and had been declined by many dance studios before getting a yes. The sisters got a standing ovation at that recital. She doesn't take anything for granted and doesn't let any boundaries get to her. She always is persistent about everything, and that always motivates me. And once on the stage at the age of seven, Jasmine knew that's where she belonged. I knew I wanted to dance. In 2005, Jasmine's parents flew to China to adopt her when she was an infant. In my house, we say that the word can't cannot be used. Both of the girls have been raised by not saying can't. You want to go again? Because you don't know if you don't try. Jasmine's talent was cultivated and harnessed in this unassuming storefront dance studio in a Melbourne strip mall. But as the owner and teacher describes, it was founded to be a safe space for young dancers. I want kids who want to learn. I want kids who are about, they're at, you know, they've reached that point where they don't feel good enough. They're about to quit. I want to save them from that. But when she saw Jasmine dance. Well, the first thing I thought was, oh my God, where has this kid been? I mean, when you see her, you're just, as a teacher, you're just like, you're trying not to make her uncomfortable with how amazing she is. As a teacher, she says she simply gave Jasmine the tools. The success all belongs to the young dancer. Ready, Brett? Okay, get it in front of you. With the bond so tight between the sisters, what was the reaction about Juilliard? As it would mean that they'd be separated. And when I told her I got the call that I was accepted, she started screaming and was like, she literally said, what the heck? And she said, when can I start packing your bag? She was ready to get me out of the door. And down the line with that Juilliard degree in hand, where does Jasmine see herself? After Juilliard, I could audition for other ballet companies or continue my education, or maybe even Broadway. In Melbourne, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.